So one transformer I wanted to look at was the shortest pathfinder. So let me find my workspace. I'm just going to fire that up. So I've got a workspace here that's using the shortest pathfinder. I'm going to zoom out a little bit just to fit everything onto the screen. So what this is doing is this is taking a, um, a set of road lines and a, a set of um, emergency facilities and basically an origin point. And we're going to try and find out which of the emergency facilities is nearest the origin point. So now why are we talking about the shortest pathfinder? Well, it got a major update for 2013. It used to be that you would have to pass in a point for the start point and a point for the end position. Um, but now what we've done is we've changed it to be a line, so from to. Um, so that makes it a little bit different. Um, one of the reasons we did that is because now you can have intermediate points as well. So it's not just searching from one point to another. You can actually put intermediate points on that line that comes into there. So this is what's going on here. We're, we're basically creating uh, our origin point. We're adding on all of the um, different... Uh, emergency facilities as a point using the 2D point adder. So we're basically creating a bunch of lines that say find me the shortest route from here to here and from here to here. And that was the other change we made as well is we can now do multiple um, shortest path calculations uh, within the same transformer at the same time. Um, I think before in 2012 you couldn't do that without duplicating the the road network again and yes. again. So you, so now we uh, we made that uh, a little bit more easier to uh, to do that. So basically, I'm going to send in a whole bunch of uh, things, and I've got a snapping tolerance set to 500 feet, which basically means if my endpoint isn't on the road network, as long as it's within 500 feet, we can snap onto that. So I'm just going to run this workspace, uh, and then a bit a little bit after that, calculates the length of all of the different paths that are coming out, sorts them into order. And basically, um, what are we doing there? Sample. So, okay, so we're finding the, the, the shortest route um, to the emergency facilities. Right. And that's what we've got on here. Um, the other thing to mention is um, if something isn't within my snapping tolerance, um, what we get is a, we've got a new port on there called No Path. Oh. So, hopefully, we'll be able to see a No Path feature on there. And yeah, we've got one here. So that's basically um, says, okay, I couldn't find a route between these two points. It's either not close enough to the network or there's no connected network to get there. So it that's must be no in this path. case that, that <clears throat> the top right point just was too far away to snap to the road. I suspect that's the case, yes. So we'll turn that off. So let's try and find the shortest route. We'll need to just drag that up uh, a little bit in the list. And I'm going to change the color of it. Just override, make it okay. Red's not good. Everything else is already red. Let's make it green. Okay. So yeah. hopefully you can see that uh, that's the shortest route um, along where my mouse is. So that is basically saying, okay, that's the nearest emergency facility to your origin point of here. And you can right. see all of the other routes I calculated are in the brown color. So. Um, we, uh, we managed to do multiple calculations on that transformer. So that's one of the big changes, I think, for uh, FME 2013. If you use that transformer, that's a really huge improvement uh, on it. Anything to say, Dale, about shortest pathfinder that I might have missed? No, I mean, the only other thing is, I think if you go back to your workspace, Mark, I think if you type from two, this will be an interesting test. Just go and see. There should be a from two builder. No. Oh, OK. No. Store. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> um, that's. I thought that we were adding something to make it easy to make those from two. Um, okay. So that, that's going to be coming uh, soon enough. <laughs> Maybe it's not there yet. Uh, this one. The, yeah. So this one is the unconditional feature merger. That's. That, I'm pretty sure that's in the uh, store. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's uh, that's a good one to have as well. That just basically merges a lot of things together without actually having to have a. Um, um, a related attribute 